Hello friends. In this presentation, we will try to understand the basics of cloud computing and the cyber security for smart grid under the heading communication technology for smart grid. So let's start uh, with the cloud computing basics. Now, first of all, we should understand what is a cloud computing. So we will come with a very basic definition of cloud computing. It is defined as uh, delivering computing power. For example, CPU, RAM, network speed, storage, operating system, software, etc. As a service over a network, usually is an internet rather than physically having on the computer resource as a customer location. So if you don't understand this uh, definition, you can understand this definition by this pictorial representation. You can see here there is a bus and there are some people who are waiting to go inside the bus. Now what happens uh, with this particular system, a bus and a bus stop and the passenger? So, so it's a very simple thing. Now if I need to travel from one point to another, I need a mode of communication. Suppose I take a bus, so obviously I will have a particular destination. So for a particular destination, you will have a different uh, ticket. And every ticket will have a different value for different destinations. So in a bus, there are many passengers who are traveling to various uh, locations, to various des destinations. Now, we are not bothered about others where they will get down and where the people are boarding the bus. bus. So we are only bothered about the destination which we are supposed to. Now what I'm trying to explain is the mode of communication is bus. The price which we are paying for that uh, communicating from one point to another is fixed. So you can see here there are n number of benefits. For example, you don't have a burden of uh, purchasing a bus or purchasing a vehicle. So you are uh, benefited by that uh, cost. Secondly, you are not uh, being bothered for uh, driving or you are not uh, having pains to drive for it. So again, it's a benefit uh, for you. So likewise, there are n number of benefits uh, by this uh, particular type of system, and that's why we say that you should try to avail a private, uh, sorry, a public transport system, which will also make the environment healthy. Now, in a very similar fashion, cloud computing also works in the same way, which means the resources which you need will not be available with you. That is, it will not be available with you physically but it will be available somewhere else which you can access through internet. So this is what a cloud computing is. So it's a, it's a service provider which will be providing you whatever the things which you need. If you need a, a RAM, if you need some storage tubes, uh, or if you need a software, all will be available on the internet. You don't need a space or you don't need to waste a space to utilize, uh, to store these things. So you would have definitely heard some examples like AWS or, or the Google Cloud. The Google Cloud is the most famous one which everybody has, I think, come across. So I hope you have understood what's the meaning of cloud computing. Now let's move ahead. Now why cloud computing has come into picture? What was the use of it? So a basic use, a basic problem which we were facing was the data. With the increasing numbers of laptops and the personal computers and the mobile use of the data storage has become a priority in all fields. In every business model and in every area, whether it's an education system or a healthcare system, wherever you go, data plays a very vital role. For example, if I talk about institutional data, then uh, I need to keep a record of the student's uh, performance, uh, the student's marks, or let's say the uh, staff of that particular institution, their record, and other kind of data. So there is a huge amount of uh, money which is involved to maintain this data. Secondly, you will always need a strong IT support and a strong uh, storage hub in order to fetch the data, in order to uh, securely store the data. So the problem was how to overcome it and cloud computing came to be a cheaper solution where you don't need to purchase a storage hub and where you don't need to employ people to have uh, IT support. You can just contact a vendor and you can get the, uh, the problem solved through the internet. So this way the efficiency through cloud computing for storing data and computational was uh, very high and the maintenance cost was also very less, which was an additional benefit of using the cloud computing. So this also finally reduces uh, the use of hardware and the software on the user side. So 
now we are not much dependent of the hardware or the software from our side we can easily access the requirement on the cloud itself so this is why the cloud computing was essential and came into picture now let's try to understand the architecture of cloud computing how it uh, behaves and how it looks like so basically we will see there is a front end and a back end of a compute cloud computing so obviously if i talk about the front end that is the user side that is the client side the client side is will be comprising of the interface and the application uh, uh, towards the cloud now this all will be fetched through internet so this is the front end and after the front end we will go to the back end that is of the, the data which are, or the or the functionalities or the softwares which are being accessed through internet it is it is stored in the database servers as the web application servers so it is nothing but this is the actual cloud which we are talking about this is the back end actually refers to the cloud and it consists of the virtual machines and the servers the storage facility and the security mechanism so this is how the architecture is the front end and the back end now what are the types of cloud which are available you can see here there are basically four types of cloud uh, the private community public and the hybrid cloud you can understand the meaning from the word itself uh, when i talk about private cloud obviously it will be uh, for a particular organization or let's say for a particular person let's say if i am a particular person i need a particular cloud i don't want it to share with any other person or any other organization then that will be known as a private cloud so this is governed or this is taken or this is owned and operated by a same organization it is not a shared part next when we talk about community cloud obviously if the word community itself suggests it will be shared between some organizations so it might be let's say i am a institute which i have there i have Uh, let's say four or five different campuses in the city so i might uh, access a cloud for all the four or five uh, campuses together so this is just an example the third case is a public cloud public cloud uh, a very best example for a public cloud can be a government uh, body let's say there is a government website which we need to access so for that uh, it's a public cloud anybody can access uh, so a public cloud is nothing but a business to customer type of interaction where it is owned and governed by a government and an academic or a business organization let's say for an example if i talk out about academic so it can be let's say our university sptu okay and the last part is a hybrid cloud so what is hybrid cloud obviously the hybrid means a combination or a sandwich of two or more types of uh, uh, things together so hybrid will basically have both type of interaction that is business to business interaction as well as business to consumer interaction so this is how a types of clouds are available to us next we come on to the services the services which are being provided the first one is the software as a service which means uh, from the cloud if you want to fetch some application some software uh, then you can obviously get the, those uh, from the cloud through internet second comes uh, platform as a service now what is a platform uh, it's a very beautifully depicted in this picture let's say uh, you have different colors and book and a book available with you so with uh, n number of colors now you can have n number of diagrams n number of pictures made made by you as per your wish so this is here uh, we are providing this boy with an environment with a platform to explore and to develop the various uh, art forms so similarly if we talk about uh, the system we can say say here also you are you are allowing the user to give a platform and the environment where they can develop applications and services third part is the infrastructure or the service now what is this infrastructure it is nothing but the virtual cloud that is providing virtual ser server space or network connections or the bandwidth or the ip addresses so it's a Uh, basically when we talk about infrastructure as a service it is a complete package for computing so these are the computing uh, services which are available now what are the benefits of cloud computing a few of the benefits we have already seen uh, in the previous slide so let's summarize it so the summary is uh, lower it infrastructure and the computer cost uh, for users so improved performance few maintenance issues 
instant software update, improved compatibility between operating systems, backup and recovery, performance and scalability, increased storage capacity, and increased data safety. So these are the few benefits of the cloud computing which has been quoted in this particular uh, slide.